Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's vlog, I'm going to be reviewing the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Skin Tint. Right here. So this is a newly released product. I think they just launched this a couple of weeks ago. And my order finally arrived in the mail a couple of days ago. So I'm going to test this out because I'm really curious of this product because it's a skin tint and with my current situation right here on my face i want to see how it covers up my acne marks i'm oily and acne prone skin so i'm really excited i've tried a couple of fenty beauty products before i still have their um their highlighter right here the hustler baby the kilowatt right there and I've also tried her um, setting powder. That one's really, really good. Like for oily skin girls out there, it's really, really good. You have to try it. Although it's a little bit pricey, but I think you're going to get your money. And I also tried her Gloss Bomb, the original one. I can't remember what it's called, but it expired on me because I didn't really use it that much. But I just got the mini one, so it wasn't too bad. But yeah, um, if you want to see how this works on my oily and acne prone skin and just keep on watching. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in. Um, I'm going to use my favorite primer today. Use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Oh. Yeah, this one's really good for my oily skin. I mean, I like it so far, so I'm going to pump a little bit. I already did my skincare earlier, so I'm just gonna warm it up and press. By the way, you got do you guys like the soap brows technique? Because I'm currently loving it and that's what I did on my eyebrows today. Cause like I used to do that, the boxy brows or like the insta brows, where it's like really glammed up, conceal like concealed and like really you know sharp. But I'm currently loving the soap brows technique, although it it's like a little bit tricky to perfect or to kind of get what you want, but. Yeah, by the way, my hands are clean. Make sure your hands are clean whenever you're applying your makeup. Okay, so I got the Ease Drop Skin Tint in the shade. So this is the packaging, by the way. This is my first time trying it. And we're going to do some check-ins throughout the video. Um, so this is, it says, light to medium coverage for all skin tones. Blends and blurs to instant perfection. Light as air. I got this in the shade 1. Yeah, because I'm really fair, so I hope that it matches me. <laughs> I mean, it's a skin tint, so I don't expect it to quite match me. Okay, I love their packaging. Oh my god. Okay, so on their Instagram, um, on Fenty Beauty's Instagram account, they, they, like some of the models that they have there, they apply their, the Ease Drop skin tint using their hands. But I will do two uh, types of application today. I will use a beauty sponge or maybe even a brush. And I will try and use my hands. Um, hopefully. Let's see what works best. I'm just going to pump a little bit. Just like so. Okay. So as I expected, it is a little runny. It's not quite runny. It's just like normal. See that? I'm just gonna apply it so the shade one is the lightest shade I'm just gonna zoom you in as you can see I have a lot of um, acne marks so hopefully this works well by the way do you guys like my earrings my sister made them um, I'm gonna link her account actually I'm gonna post it here on the side her she's on Instagram it's called Mary pom poms I'm just gonna put her instagram handle here it makes really good pom poms and i ordered this from her it's not free i ordered this and i also got a red one which i think will be really cute 
um, with like a white tank top or a black tank top. Yeah, anyway, okay, so we'll, we'll apply this. Oh, we'll use, I'm using my hands right now. See, I'm not expecting it to cover up my, you know. This is, uh, I'm not an influencer. <laughs> This is not sponsored. This is my unbiased review of this product. This retails for 39 Canadian dollars and I got this from Sephora. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, I think it like reduced my redness a little bit. It feels, it feels fine, it feels like so this is what my face looks like with no uh, skin tint and kind of looks the same <laughs> to be honest but I think it like slightly reduced the redness on my face which is fine so I'm just gonna apply a little bit more actually we'll apply like half of my face and then we'll see what happens see my forehead doesn't have a lot of um, ow. I'm on the floor, so I'm just gonna scoot over. All my makeup is on the floor right now because I'm in my makeup room and I don't have everything properly set up, so I'm always filming on the floor. We'll just apply this with my hands. I think this matches me really well. So I'm really fair. I tried her on uh, the Pro Filter Foundation. I got a sample from that like a while back when I think when it released and it like didn't work out for me. It was like, or maybe I wasn't using the right products. Maybe I should have used it with um, her setting powder. But yeah, at that time, it didn't work well. So, maybe I should give another shot, but I'm not really wearing foundation these days. Sorry if you can see a little bit peeling because my... I'm gonna turn down the light a little bit. There, okay. You can see that better. You can see like a bit of peeling there because I used benzoyl peroxide yesterday or last night okay so this is what my face looks like so my right side it, it work out it like reduced the redness like you can completely see that my right side is like reduced darkness which is like I think it's really nice because if I put on like medium to full coverage concealer or light to medium coverage concealer, I think it'll be fine. So, so this is what the left side of my face, this is what it looks like with no skin tint, just the primer. I think it looks really nice. It's like your skin but better. So that's really nice. So I'm just gonna try and use a brush because I think if I use a beauty sponge, it'll take away the the coverage, if you will. So I'm just gonna go grab a brush. I really don't like applying products with my fingers. Although my hands are clean, I just think that. Okay, so I apply it. I really I shouldn't have put benzoyl peroxide last night, but I did. Maybe I won't. Yeah, like you can see a little bit of peeling here because <laughs> I used benzoyl peroxide there. So 
last night as well so let's go and put it down i really wish i had her setting powder to use today because like i think that would really put this i'm gonna put a little bit more because i think i put a lot from on my right on the right side of my face i'm just gonna put like a Maybe half. Okay. Can you see that well? I know I've reduced my lightness so many times, but I hope you can. I'm filming in front of my window. Okay. So I think I applied it pretty well. With my fingers and with this brush, I think it provided the exact same coverage. So Hopefully I can post like a before and after here somewhere on the side of what my face looked like earlier before we applied this. But as you can see, it reduced some of the redness on my face. So I didn't, it did say light to medium coverage and yeah, it's, it's really light. So I'm just going to apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back or maybe I'll fast forward this portion. Anyway, so this is the finished look. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see. Um, so, what I noticed, maybe it's because of the skincare products that I used last night. That's why some of the product is breaking up. Like the eye serum that I had last night had retinol. 
so it's kind of breaking up right here on my under eye but it may be also the concealer so that's that but I think it's like after I applied that Juvia's Place concealer that's like a medium to full coverage concealer so I think it looks really nice it's like you know I think this one Okay, I wouldn't say it's for people with perfect skin because people like me can still use this and achieve great results. Um, this is for, like, you can use this for on the go. Um, I think it'll be really good, like, if you're just looking for, you know, that my skin but better look or, like, the no makeup makeup look. That's not what I'm trying to achieve today. I just use this product as, like, you know, as I would like a normal foundation um, and I applied my uh, makeup just how I normally would so I applied the primer the powder I didn't change anything in my routine or on today's application so ev everything I did was the exact same thing how I do my normal makeup and I think like this is pretty bomb I think <laughs> Well, we'll see. Um, we're gonna do some check-ins throughout the day. It's currently 11.42. Um, yeah, it's currently, yeah, 11.42. So I'm gonna check back in a, maybe two hours and see how the skin tint like sinks into my skin because like, you know, the makeup looks different when like on the first application so maybe like you can see that you can see that you can see my, my nostrils but you can see that peeling but it's because of the products that i used last night my skincare you can see like the redness on my face now it's not that noticeable it also may be because of the concealer that i used earlier but i think it's really nice. Do you like the highlighter? Damn, look at that baby. Woo! Okay, my forehead looks fine. Forehead looks fine. By the way, I love this mascara. Maybelline Sky High. Oh, so good. You guys need to try this. Um, yeah, so we're going to check back in a couple of hours. And we'll see how this product sinks into my skin. You know, the body chemistry and stuff. See you in a little bit. You guys, I think <laughs> I'm switching to my phone just in front of my window right now. I think the shade that I got is too white. But then it's hard for me to really find my perfect match because I'm so fair. And like, maybe I should have changed it to like the second shade because like, look. I don't know if you can see that. Oh shit. It's messy. But yeah, it's like. Oh fuck. Whoops, sorry. It's like this really white. Do you see that? Maybe I'll switch it and hopefully they have the shade. I'll go in store. Yeah. Because, like, I didn't think it would be this white. Because I did look at the shade range online and their Instagram, but, you know, pictures can be deceiving. So I'll see you in a little bit. Hi guys, so it's my two hour check-in. Well, technically, I started at 11.42, so two hours and a bit. And this is what my face looks like right now. Um... I think it looks pretty good. It's like I think I still got the lightest shade, so it's too white on my face. And it also might have to do with the with the concealer, but this is what the face looks like in natural light. I think it looks pretty good. It's just that my under eyes are a little bit, you know. I don't look oily. Do I look oily, babe? Yes. Well, I have oily and acne prone skin, so, but to me, it doesn't feel oily. 
like there's like a slight stickiness but i don't feel that oily so but yeah we'll check in in a couple more hours i'm gonna do a workout and i'll see you guys in a bit so here's another check-in for today it's almost 7 p.m and this is what the current situation looks like so my under eye is still the same got a little bit oily but it's not i call it do okay i'm not i don't feel oily and i don't look too oily which is good um and like the peeling around my chin has kind of disappeared a little bit so <clears throat> I'm gonna check back in at the end of the night and see like I'm gonna give you guys a close-up with like my ring light on and my camera and then yeah we'll see at the end of the night um I didn't blot anything at all so like my mascara is running a little bit but it's not too bad but you know what okay I'll, I'll see you guys at the end of the night hi guys so it's uh currently 9.05 and um this is my last check-in for the day before i take off all this makeup i'm just gonna zoom you guys in so you can see what the face looks like you know overall it's like okay i've gotten a little oily as you can see i'm like it's really like shiny over here sorry i'm looking in, the, in my viewfinder but as you can see here uh, let me see see okay I turned down my light a little bit but okay so you can see like a little bit of shininess like I see shininess on my forehead and around my t-zone area and like here but like okay so there's like a little bit of transfer on my hand when I touch my face but you know what to me even though I have oily skin, I don't mind the dewiness look. I actually really appreciate it. Like I, I've tried over the past few years, or actually not past few years, just recently, just in 2019, I try to embrace like my my oily skin and when my makeup, you know, um, settles in and gives me that dewy look. Sometimes I do mind it, but sometimes I don't. But fairly recently, I tried to embrace it, and now I it's like it doesn't look too bad. And with the products, like with the skincare products that I've been currently using, like the niacinamide and hyaluronic acid, um, I learned a lot to appreciate the dewiness that my face gives after um, I have makeup on for like a couple of hours so i'm gonna give i like my final thoughts is okay maybe a ranking of uh, out of 10 um i will give this for now i will give this a 7 out of 10 um it's because i do like it's it's a skin tint yes i get that but maybe i'm gonna try it again and see how it will react when i don't use like retinol um, benzoyl peroxide i will like use it again and maybe update um, my description box or maybe insert clips of me trying it out at another day because like i really liked it i worked out with makeup on today i worked out for half an hour and i didn't get oily at all and we went out for a walk after my workout for about 20 minutes and it's like it's perfectly fine like normally i would be like really really like an oil slick almost but i don't see that happening so and like it just gives my skin a healthy glow which i really like this is not a sponsored video these are my thoughts and my own thoughts and you know unbiased review of the fenty eavesdrop skin tint and yeah um i will try it again and i'll get i will give it another fair shot so that i can you know finalize my thoughts and opinions and yeah i'll insert a clip hopefully if i do try it at another day or if because i think the the shade that i got is really light so 
or it may have something to do with the concealer that I used earlier which was the Juvia's Place in the shade 24 which as you guys saw when I applied it it was really light it was like almost white so I'm gonna try it with like almost the exact same shade as the skin tint I do have two more Juvia's Place um, foundation I mean not foundation the concealer which is the I am magic concealer so I'm gonna give it one more shot if I don't like it with the Juvia's Place I'm gonna try a different concealer or I will maybe get a different shade of the skin tint okay well that's it um, I'm really tired and I need to take a shower before I go to bed I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel uh, let me know what your thoughts down below and what kind of videos you want to see from next and i will see you in the next one bye